Okay guys, so we're gonna go ahead and show you uh, the actual install of the PRT. Um, in terms of how it actually works, there's gonna be like four stages of what we're gonna look for. Key characteristics. The first one is we're gonna go ahead and obviously take and wrap the PRT around your cord and you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna stick down uh, you're going to peel off this adhesive backer and you're going to go ahead and stick that down on the tube so that it's going to go ahead and look like this. That's our first stage. You can see we went ahead and we pre-wrapped the actual hot melt so when it does shrink that's going to heat up and that's going to melt. Now, as I mentioned before, when we start hitting it with the heat gun, we're going to focus on the seam first. Why do we focus on the seam first? Because we want to fully shrink the actual seam so that it's fully recovered so that we don't put any additional stress on that when we go to shrink the rest of it. Secondly, we shrink the seam first because we want that to go ahead and cool down. Once it gets warm, it's a thermal and pressure sensitive adhesive. It forms a proper bond once it's cooled down. So the stronger that seam is going to be, the more we can allow it to cool before we actually get after and go into stage three of it. Now, as we continue to heat the seam, you're going to see this cupping phenomenon. The actual PRT is going to want to curl up from this here, and it's going to want to do this cup. You're going to just keep feeding it heat across the actual seam. Don't worry about the rest of it right now. Continue to focus on what I call the lips here, and that'll actually flatten out. So as we continue to feed the heat across it, the seam will eventually flatten out, and it'll look like this version here. Now, once we have this version, this is where we're going to want to go ahead and stop with the actual heat for a moment. What I like to do is take my heat gun and just turn the heat off and allow it to regular blow. So I'll take and I'll just blow on the seam and allow that to fully cool. I'll go ahead and usually have one hand off with the glove so I can touch it and make sure that it is um, plenty cool. Once it is cool, you can see that it's very, very strong. Um, there's a little bit of um, adhesive, but we won't worry about that right now. We're gonna go ahead and rub that off when the repair is final. So once that seam itself is fully cured and cooled down, we're going to go ahead and we can shrink the rest of it and we can actually have what looks like this here, which is our fully recovered repair. And you can see that um, hot melt adhesive is actually oozing out of the seams. That's how we know we got a proper seal and that um, repair underneath the cord is actually properly sealed.